All right, guys, Wednesday 13th of May here. Gaz and Andy coming at you. What we're going to kick things off with is a 15-minute AMRAP. The very first one we're going to do, we're going to go for 15 knee tuck with a crunch. So you notice Gary's legs have started off nice and long, his shoulders are on the floor. He's going to crunch his body forward and lift his knees in at the same time. So he's going to go for 15 reps there. Once he's finished his 15 reps, he's going to stay sitting up nice and tall. He's got some, some seated knee tuck crunches here for 15 reps. Once he's got 15 reps done there, he's now going to pick up something nice and light, a light dumbbell if you have it, a heavy water bottle, whatever it is. We're going to go for 30 weighted Russian twists. You notice Gary here is showing good control here, nice and steady. He's not whipping that dumbbell side to side. Super slow and controlled, nice big twist. We're going to go for 30 reps in total there. We're going to move through those three movements for 15 minutes. Take a break as you need to along the way. Okay, that's going to be our 15 minutes of core. Our mobility today, we're going to be focused on the lower back. Gary's going to start off with his feet nice and wide here, even wider, as wide as you can get them. He's going to hinge his hips back, so a big bend over at the hips. His arms are going to go out nice and wide here in a big T position. And what he's going to do is he's going to rotate his entire body, opposite hand to opposite foot. Notice Gary's getting a nice big twist into that lower back, trying to reach that top hand nice and high towards the ceiling here. He's going to cycle through these reps here for 60 seconds. Once he's finished, he's going to stand nice and tall. He's going to go into some toe taps, just loosening up those hamstrings, loosening up the lower back. Gives a couple of reps from the side, Gary. Perfect. Keeping those legs nice and straight here. Again, 60 seconds of toe taps. We're back on to the side to sides for 60 seconds, back onto the toe taps. We've got two rounds of that in total. When he's finished the dynamic stretches, we're going to go into some static holds now. He's going to sit down onto his bum. He's going to face the camera for me. Beautiful, his legs are going to go nice and wide in like a pancake stretch here. He's now going to rotate his two hands out to the right hand side. Big sensor sign. Perfect. Holding this stretch for 60 seconds. The further he can walk his left hand around to the right, the better stretch he's going to get in to that lower back and side. Okay, 60 seconds on one side, he's going to walk around. 60 seconds on the opposite side. Once he's finished there, he's now going to lie over onto his back. His two legs are going to come in nice and close. He's going to lift that right or left knee up and let it fall over to the right hand side. Again, targeting that lower back, upper hip area. 60 seconds on one side. We'll go 60 seconds on the opposite side. And again, we're looking for two rounds of that in total. Okay, that is us for Wednesday, guys. Best of luck.